This segment is sponsored by the West Michigan Clean Air Coalition. As the weather warms up and we move squarely into summer, it is very likely we will hear about Clean Air Action Days, once known as Ozone Action Days. Here to talk about what it means when a declaration is made and what we should do about it is Amy Hawk from the West Michigan Shoreline Regional Development Coalition. Good to see you, Amy. Hi, thanks for having me. Great oh, to see you. Oh, happy to do it. What's a Clean Air Action Day? Well, a Clean Air Action Day, I think, is something that most people have actually heard of in the West Michigan area. We've uh, The program's been around for, gosh, 20-plus uh, some years. And what happens when we call, when we work with um, state um, meteorologists, is we call Clean Air Action Days when um, ozone and or particulate matter in West Michigan are expected to come in at um, higher levels which is um, what we call um, unhealthy for sensitive groups. Um, in West Michigan, we get a lot of our air quality or a lot of our ozone and particulate matter actually from transport from across our beautiful lake, um, Lake yeah. Michigan. It comes in from larger cities such as Chicago, Gary, um, Milwaukee to our Southwest. And, um, but you know, no matter where the air comes from or the pollution in the air, it is here and it is best for us to acknowledge it, recognize it, and do whatever we can as residents, government, and businesses to keep the pollution in that air at the lowest levels possible. And I'm, I wanna talk about the kinds of things that we can do in just a minute. I, I mentioned in, the, in my little lead in that we used to call it ozone action days, now sure. calling them clean air action days. Why the change? Right. Well, so about 10 plus years ago, right around 10 years ago, we added a pollutant called particulate matter to our um, scanner because we were having about 10 years ago, we were we were getting levels of particulate matter that were getting close to the um, range of concern, we'll say. Um, we've been um, very fortunate to never have to call a clean air action day um, because of particulate matter. Um, we have kept... Um, those things um, in check. So it's just another um, pollution that we've added to our radar in West Michigan. And um, I should add too that sometimes particulate matter, because it's, um, it's fine pollution particles in the air. And a lot of times those are actually um, worse in the winter months than in the summer months. So, um, you know, if we ever do have to call a clean air action day in regards to particulate matter, it may be something that happens um, during the winter months. So it is the dangerous aspect of the ozone when it lingers close to the earth. Temperatures sure. are high, there's a, a particular wind, right, and low cloud cover. It's close to the earth. It's bad for us. How so? Right, right. Well, the ozone up high in the upper atmosphere is, is good ozone. It's what we want to keep. It, it's what protects us from um, uh, the sun's you know, ultraviolet rays. But ground level ozone, um, you know, closer to the earth, um, that's what we also know as smog. So um, that's what we need to really keep in check and reduce and keep as low as possible. Let's tell folks, what can they do? Sure. Well, on, when you hear it's a clean air action day, and this is especially important right now when gasoline prices are so high, it's really best to not um, drive your vehicle a lot um, on clean air action days. You know, if you do um, have to drive your vehicle, it's best to, you know, maybe carpool or do what we call trip chaining, where you can combine errands into one trip. So you're not starting and stopping your car and going extra miles. Of course, if you have public transit available to you, um, that's really, you know, a, a great way to um, lessen the pollution factor on clean air action days. And then there's um, everybody's favorite of uh, delaying mowing your lawn on a clean air action day. And, you know, as you said, on clean air action days, it's very hot. It's typically very humid. And um, it's not enjoyable to mow your lawn on those days anyway. So, you know, right. You can always use our program as a reason to not do that. All right. Well, to learn if a clean air action day has been called, watch your local news and weather stations like this one, sign up to receive text messages, or you can call the clean air action hotline. It's 1-800-656-0663. You can also check out the website, wmcac.org. Amy, thanks so much. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it.